In this video, we're going to talk about how to tell if your ex is pretending to be over you. We're going to cover five signs that they are just pretending. But first, my name is Clay with ModernLove.Life, where we help you get the great loving relationship that you're looking for without having to play mind games, without having to play hard to get, and without having to pretend to be someone or something that you are not, because you deserve to be loved for the unique amazing and wonderful person that you are. And if you agree with me, do me a favor by giving this video a thumbs up. And you know, if you're new here, if this is maybe one of the first videos of mine that you've stumbled across, think about signing up for this channel. Subscribe if you like what we're talking about here. Um, also, I wanted to let you know that we do have our course called the X Solution Program. It takes everything that we've talked about in you know all of these videos and really lays out a full plan for you to get back together with your ex, takes you on the journey of the five stages that your ex goes through, takes you through each of those stages, helps you to develop a deeper emotional connection through advanced relational skills. And of course, we obviously also talk about strategy, what to say, what to text, when to do all these sorts of things, and so on and so forth. Anyway, if you want to learn more about that, you can find info on that down in the description box for this video. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the meat for this video. So how can you tell if your ex is just pretending to be over you? This can happen. I've seen it many times before. Um, we do live in a weird, bizarre society where people try to make it look like they are over their ex, even if they're not. Um, because we, for some reason, believe that if we can put up the right facade that we are over our ex, that uh, we somehow win the breakup. You know, whoever cares the least controls the, the relationship, if, if it's even a relationship anymore. That's like a co very common fortune cookie type of advice that a lot of people get out there. Uh, I don't agree with it. <laughs> I've, uh, I've talked about that before in the past, but it is still a very common um, belief, perception that a lot of people have out there. So, um, Let's go ahead and talk about how you can tell if your ex is just pretending to be over you. So the first way that you can tell is if they rebound into a rebound relationship with someone who's very different or very similar to you. Now, obviously, a rebound relationship is definitely a sign that they still have some work to do themselves. A rebound relationship is the sign of emotional unavailability. It means there's still some healing that needs to happen on an emotional level for them before they're actually able to go out there and have a fresh relationship that is not really rooted on things in the past. We made an entire series on rebound relationships. You can go ahead and check that out up there if you missed it or if you're curious to know more about rebound relationships. Um, so that's there for you. But um, if your ex is in a rebound relationship, there are obviously a lot of signs and a lot of ways that this can kind of present itself that would demonstrate they're not over you. Things like psychological displacement, trying to fast forward their new relationship up to the same level that they had with you. So, you know, it took you and them like a year to talk about moving in together, it takes their new person and them, you know, maybe just a few months or a few weeks to get how, to get to that point of commitment. Um, again, I don't know if anyone's rushing to move in with one another right now, given the situation and all that. Um, but it, it's been things that we have seen before in the past. And you know, if you're watching this from you know many many years in the future, I hope that we're back to normal life by then. Right now we're in this whole pandemic thing, but um, please leave a comment if you're from the future and everything is normal and wonderful again. Um, so that is definitely a way that you can tell if your ex is pretending to be over you. Uh, the second way that you can tell that your ex might be pretending to be over you is if they don't mourn the breakup or the relationship that you had and they seem to, you know, bounce back into some sort of like very happy kind of state almost immediately. You know, maybe they're like talking about all the wonderful things that they're doing on social media. Maybe they're rebounding into a new relationship. Maybe they're uh, doing things like that. If they are just bypassing the whole natural, completely normal, completely understandable period of, you know, mourning the loss of a relationship that they had with you, then that just shows that they're kind of papering it over with, uh, you know, the perception of feeling good. Again, there's this perception that if we just do the things that someone who is over their ex or over their breakup would do, then that makes us over 
our x or over our breakup obviously that's not true obviously that's completely silly like if i just went out and got like the best mountain climbing gear it's not gonna somehow make me into like a world-class mountain climber i'm still gonna be uh probably really terrible at it because i've never really done it before so i have no reason to actually think i'd have any sort of skill but just having the right tools or just doing the things that someone else would do is not going to cause the emotional stuff behind the scenes to actually fall into place um the third sign that your ex is just pretending to be over you is if there is a dramatic change in their behavior after the breakup, especially if it reflects a change in values on their part. So yeah, we do have values that sort of direct where we go in life and what our attention is focused on. And yes, these values can absolutely change as we move through chapters of life and as we start to reevaluate things in life. But if your ex is having a sudden change in values, especially if they're like totally flipped 180, whereas like in, in, in on, on one side of the breakup, you know, before the breakup, they were really focused focused on, you know, I don't know, living some sort of like really centered, intentional life. And now they just want to go out and party and drink and, you know, do drugs or something. Again, not sure how much partying people are doing these days with this whole situation. But if you're watching this in a utopian future where we can all be closer than six feet to one another and all that stuff, um, they might be doing this. And again, welcome to the past. I really hope it all works out well for everyone. Um, But anyway, um, if they do start to experience a dramatic shift in values, then that could be a sign that they're just kind of pretending to be over you, pretending to be over the breakup, and that they're just kind of, you know, papering over these emotions with some, you know, cotton candy fluff kind of behavior, okay? Uh, the fourth way you can tell if your ex is just pretending to be over the breakup is if they surround themselves with things that remind them of you, especially if they don't have to do that, right? You know, it's like one thing if, you know, they have a bunch of clothes that uh, remind them of you and they have no money to buy any new clothes or something like that. That's, that's like one thing. But if they definitely have the means to go out and do things or, you know, get rid of certain, I don't know, things, sentimental things, whatever, but they choose to keep those anyway, then that just shows that they are absolutely not over you. There's still like a part of them that's still emotionally entwined in the relationship that they had with you, in the dynamic that the two of you had together, and that they are still kind of either intentionally or maybe not so intentionally kind of working through those emotions, okay? Um, that's definitely a very common thing that people have experienced um, on this journey when they are looking at their ex and trying to say, hey, are you like legit over me or are you just kind of pretending? The fifth way that you can tell if they're just pretending to be over you is if they like put up a wall or a cap on how far they will allow themselves to go with you, how far they will um, allow themselves to talk about things with with you or talk about things that they valued or wanted to do when they were with you so you know if the two of you had some sort of shared goal or shared thing that the two of you wanted to do and they suddenly cap that off they suddenly that's there's kind of like a, a sort of emotional electric fence around that thing and they don't want to go there they don't want to talk about that they don't want to explore that they don't want to talk about it with you or with other people or something like that that just shows that there's like something happening emotionally that's causing them to kind of wall off certain parts because they're a little bit too sensitive and most likely um it relates to you and how they feel about you and unresolved things and stuff like that i mean unless there's been some other like major shift in their life um in some sort of way that could be causing that but i mean you know chances are the for most people watching this video the biggest major shift in your life is probably going to be the breakup that you most likely somewhat recently had with your ex and it's probably similar for them as well too so we can kind of put things together and say, okay, they're shutting off access emotionally to this part of themselves because of the breakup, because there's still feelings, emotions, things like that, that they're still working through. So um, those are five ways you can tell if your ex is still 
pretending to be over you, not quite over you yet. Um, what do you think? What sorts of things have you seen in your ex that might make you think that they are pretending to be over you? Leave a comment down below and let us know. Let's keep the discussion going down there. Uh, once again, if you want to learn more about the X Solution program, you can find info on that down in the description box of this video. Maybe it's a good fit for you, maybe not. But if you're curious, you can click the link and find out. Not going to hard sell you on it, but it's down there if you're curious. Um, but thanks again for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here and you like what we're talking about. Um, also, you might want to check out this video series over here on signs that your ex wants you back or maybe he doesn't want you back. Or you might want to check out this video over here. But thanks so much. Take care and I'll talk to you next time.